What is going on guys? Who more here bring out a brand new video. I know I'm had to bring out the sequin jacket, you know, got the red, got the Santa hat on, the white pants, you know, we getting the kind of Christmas up in here, you know what I'm saying? This Christmas is coming. You know, last time I wore this jacket, it fit me well. Um this thing is huge on me now, so it might look huge. I'll make a video why it is that way at some other point. But guys, I bring you this video today with the utmost excitement and utmost joy. Feeling holly and I'm feeling jolly bringing you this video today. I've done something I've wanted to do ever since I started writing and making music four years ago, which is to make a Christmas song. I've tried many times over the past four years only to fail. Now I've written one that is coming out this Friday, two weeks. Two songs? You had You Keep Me Going, and now you got my new Christmas song, Christmas Right Here. Yes! You know how excited it is for me? You know how exciting it is for me to bring you a Christmas song? It is um, super exciting. I knew I've been in this songwriting kick the past couple weeks where I've been writing a tons and tons and tons of songs. I knew in that bunch of songs, I said, out of nowhere, I want to write a Christmas song. So there was one night. I needed to get myself away from social media for a couple hours so nothing would get spoiled for me. And so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to write a Christmas song. So I just put my head down when I got to my dorm room and wrote this in like 30 minutes. I'm really proud of it. I'm really excited for it. It's a really fun little Christmas song. I had I broke my rule because if you know in the video where I said I'd make sure to nurture my music and make sure I take time with it. I didn't do that with this. I rushed it in like a couple weeks. But I made sure it got vetted and let people listen to it and got a lot of opinions on it. And that was how I gauged if it was going to get released and when. And luckily, it got a lot of good reviews. So here we are. I'm so excited to release a Christmas song. So what is the song about? It kind of, The title kind of tells it's just Christmas right here. To go in a deeper meaning before I really talk about it, um, you know, the past couple of years for a lot of people has been tough, you know, with COVID and being separated from our loved ones. Luckily... I've been able to see everyone in my family, but not everyone's been that fortunate. And, you know, at times, the holidays is that time that's supposed to bring everyone together. It's supposed to mend wounds. It's meant to let bygones be bygones and really just let everything just kind of go out the door. Friends and family just join and just celebrate the holidays together. And that's what this song is about. It's just saying, and to me, that's what the song is. It's finding those loved ones, finding those people that, you know... You don't talk to as much as you wish you did or the person that you love the most and, you know, reasons as why you might not be able to spend Christmas together. It's just that thing of Christmas won't be Christmas if you're not here. I don't want to hang my stocking if your name is not there beside it. I don't want to wait for Santa because he can't bring me what I want because what I want is you. That's what the song touches on. It's one of those corny, you know, songs saying Christmas is not Christmas without you. Yes, all I want for Christmas is you by Mariah Carey had a big influence on this song. Christmas without you by DNCE also had a big influence on this song. So if you listen to those two songs, you pretty much have heard Christmas right here. I really got to play with this song, really got to have fun. Having a song in my Christmas playlist with my name on it, it's cool and it really means a lot as an artist to have that song that hopefully people will discover over the years and really just um, add to their Christmas playlist. I said if I can get added to one Christmas playlist, I think that is a win. I mean someone wants to listen to me on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and the days leading up to it. I'm just super excited to bring you this song. People say, oh, I don't watch Christmas song, but does it really have a personal effect on their lives? Does it come from like a really true piece of the heart or do they just write a Christmas song for the sake of hell, I'm gonna write a Christmas song? You know, mine comes a little bit from both. Like I said, I've always wanted to write a Christmas song and I've kind of dabbled in that realm of music for the past couple of years. And I had one that I was really working on, but then I canned it and I wrote this one. When it feels right, it feels right. So when I, I knew what I wanted to write about going into this. Over the past couple of weeks, let me, past couple of weeks, I've been writing a lot of music because I've had a lot of stuff going on personally. A lot of times, especially when I was at Liberty, when I was at school for the week following these several events taking place, I would go to class in the morning, hang out with my friends for a little while, and then I'd go back to my dorm, sit down, look at my computer, and start writing a song. And I had a goal to write a song a day, and which I did. I wrote a whole album's worth of music. And I would go in knowing what song I wanted to write. Like, I would have a couple of lyrics in mind. I would type them down on my phone notes. 
notes. Think about that song the night before when I was about to go to sleep and I was just like taking a mental note. And you know, it's those songs that really are the best ones in a group of music that I've been writing. This song just happened to fall into the place with those and it is it comes from the same spot it comes from the emotions I was having and so that's where the song comes from for me it comes from that spot of you know this person that the communication's getting weird with and you know the song's about I want to set it in the right direction because the holidays won't be right if I don't make this right directly be right here so that's what the Christmas song and you know I think the song tells a story throughout its corniness which is you know all I want for Christmas is to settle this so yeah the song I don't know how it is for most artists who write Christmas songs but for me personally this song does come from the heart and I have a lot of personal attachment to it and it means a lot to me that this song is coming out to say that I pour my heart out in my music which is what I do and I think I poured it out into this song Christmas song or a regular single I'm just thrilled that I can you know share my story with everyone out there and it's amazing and it's awesome and being able to do it in this way of a holiday song is awesome sometimes when you can't communicate with them directly sometimes you have to do it indirectly and luckily with music I do have that gateway to where I can communicate through my lyrics and my music it reaches that person then I've done something right but at the end of the day that's not, I'm not writing it for them I'm writing it for myself and I'm releasing it to the world to hear so hopefully if it doesn't help my situation at least maybe someone else's situation can get helped by it. and if that's what the case is with this then I've done my job as a songwriter and a singer and I feel accomplished and y'all got me on a soapbox in this video but it's important that I tell you the full story on everything. Because I think I said in my You Keep Me Going video, with the music this time around, I really want to make sure everyone is engaged and really feels connected to my music and really understands the whole story behind my music. And eventually, and more of the story that you hear me refer to a lot in this video and the You Keep Me Going video, it'll come out eventually. I might have mentioned a bigger project in my You Keep Me Going video. This song is not part of that bigger project because it's a Christmas song at the end of the day. It was written with being part of this and it'll be a unofficial honorary part of this bigger project when this bigger project comes into fruition 2022 so yeah i'm excited i hope you guys are excited make sure you go listen to christmas right here this friday make sure to add it to your christmas playlist and i'm excited just for all of you to experience the holiday season together i hope you're with your families this year i hope you're with your friends i hope you all have a merry christmas this is not the last time I'm going to speak to y'all before Christmas because this is a Christmas video. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope whatever holiday you do celebrate, you just have the happiest of holidays this season. I hope you all just have a good food, good presents, good time together. And that's what all that matters at the end of the day. Isn't that right? I'm with Morris and I'm out. Make sure you go check out Christmas right here. And make sure you also go check out You Keep Me Going that came out last week. And I also have to say, I promise I'm making for the third time and I promise it will come. Christmas right here will be getting a music video. It won't come out this Friday because there's certain scenes I have to film for it that at the time of that I just can't have done by the time the song comes out. I hope you all enjoy the music video. It's going to be cool. It's going to be kind of like a uh, home video style music video. So I hope you all enjoy. I'm Morris and I'm out. Peace.